This is code.org. I'm working on their CS principles course. I'm on unit five, building apps, lesson six, user input in strings, part three, strings. The primary data type we have used so far is numbers. If we want to interact with user subs, uh, with user submitted text, however, we'll have to learn about a new data type called string. A string is a sequence of ASCII characters. Don't let that scare you. Technical lingo. Keyboard characters is basically what they're saying. Um, examples. All of these are strings, right? You can have spaces, keyboard characters, basically. You can store strings in a variable just like a number. Uh, yes, but you have to have quotes around it. So, hello world is a string here. There's quotes around it. Uh, combining strings. Yep. So the plus operator, you can combine two strings. You can have one string be outputted with a uh, with a variable, and uh, but the formal name of combining a string or two is concatenating them. The program you're about to see is a very simple Mad Libs program. These strings are concatenated with other strings. Mad Libs, yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, do this. The input words of this Mad Lib are currently set to empty strings. Add your own words and run the program to generate a Mad Lib. Mad Lib. Plural noun. I'm going to say Kaiser because I'm Mr. Kaiser. A verb is going to be stunned. Adjective. Hmm. Uh, for a adjective, I meant stunned. Um, stunned is not a verb. Uh, I'm a bit tired, I guess, so maybe I should, uh, oh, that's my verb. Sleep. Sleep is a verb. There we go. Stunned sleep. And now, one more. Um, I don't know. Bitter. All right, let's hit run and see what prints to council. Aha. Ouch. <laughs> And what they're showing here is they are showing concatenation, right? We're taking our string variable and concatenating it with these pre-made sentences. So plural noun is this variable, which is me, which is why I'm getting hurt by the ostrich. All right, cool. Let's keep going. 